we are just two days away, so we need to get your picks. Okay. Who's going to make the final four on the men's and the women's side? Uh, we'd start with the ladies, Tracy, and ladies first. This is tough because we're only two weeks in, so it's tough to come up with these predictions based on so little information. But at the top of the draw, I'm going to go with Ash Barty. I think she uses the Australian crowd. She's playing well. She's played for two weeks. Bottom section of the top half, I'm going to go with Serena Williams. She has uh, Naomi Osaka. Would She would play her in the quarters. I'm just going to go with Serena because I think she's won a title. She had a great offseason. She's looking good. Then the bottom section, the top half of the bottom section, this is my outlier. I'm going with Danielle Collins. That okay. section looks a little bit weak to me. Uh, Halep, I think, is, has a tough opening round in Brady. And then I'm going with Pliskova. Bottom half. By the way, that's, that's the largest draw that we've ever printed here at Tennis <laughs> Channel. It's like massive paper. Jimmy? I just want to start out by saying for 20 years or so, I've always picked Serena Williams to win a major. And this time, I didn't even pick her to make the final four. And it's because she has Osaka in her quarter. Mm. And I do think that's, that's a toss-up match. That's a 50-50 match. But I'm going with the slightly younger player that's won a couple of slams here recently and beat Serena in the finals of the U.S. Open, obviously. So Osaka and Madison Keys because mm, she's played ah. so well to start this year. And I think Ash so that's Barty, the Barty, that's the Barty section. I have a feeling Barty might let the pressure of being number one in the world in Australia. Maybe it'll affect her if it does. Keys, Kavitov is also in that section. That's going to be pretty tough. On the bottom half, you must have been looking at my notes because yeah, I, I, I also I picked, often need your help. Uh, yeah, especially especially on, especially on the women's <laughs> on the women's draw, you really did need help. And I went with Danielle Collins as well as a sort of an upset, partly because she trained at IMG for the off season that at six plug in the morning. There, you hear that plug? <laughs> and that's first plug of the of the year on TC Live, and Pliskova in the other semifinal is who I've got. Collins has beaten who both. Wins? Of, yeah. You have to pick who wins? Yeah, I, would like, go ahead. I would like to know your winner. Okay. So the people am, want to know. Well, I am going for Pliskova in the finals of the bottom half, and Serena is going to win. Okay. Remember they played last year and in Serena the had that. Yeah, in the quarterfinals. Serena had that 5-1 lead. She had a couple of match points, and then Serena sprained her ankle, and she was not the same. She was looking. Nope, oh, she sprained her ankle there. She really never recovered. She went on to lose six games in a row. She has her ankles taped always. But then Pliskova, look where she's standing. Standing on the baseline, just moving Serena side to side. Tough match for Serena to lose. But anyway, my prediction, Serena gets 24. They both come in hot because Williams won in Auckland, Pliskova won in Brisbane. That's so right. both have wins already this year. Uh, let's flip the script. Or no, I know, we'll, I'll we'll give get... you my winner. All right. I've, it's basically the same thing. I've got did Pliskova. My, did you cheat on my? No, <laughs> I have Pliskova in the finals, but losing to Osaka. So the, really, the only difference is that who's going to win the Osaka Serena match in Which the quarterfinals? Which is an incredible and that's, quarter. That is an incredible quarter. That could have been the final. Yes. Okay.